Hey everyone, welcome you all to Bioschool. This is Gayatri, and today we are going to discuss about a very important topic of genetics that is chi square test in genetic crosses. So, what is the chi square test? It is a statistical test used to see if observed values for a set of data for a set of data are similar are similar to or significantly different from expected values so if you are doing an experiment then you will get a set of observed values so what you will get after an experiment that is the observed values so the observed value is it similar to the expected value or it is significantly different from the expected values so let me explain this by an example for understanding the chi square test we will take the example of genetic cross so let's consider a trait the trait is flower color is the flower color flower color and let's consider the allele r capital r it goes for the purple color flower and small r it goes for the white color flower if we cross parents capital r small r with capital r small r then phenotype for purple flower is for phenotype for purple flower it is observed 792 okay how many purple flowers are observed it is 792 similarly for white color flower okay white color phenotype of flower how many numbers are observed it is 208 okay 208 so these are the observed values okay these are the observed values and okay i write o for observed values so now the question is observed values observed observed values is it similar to expected value you know this type of crosses are drawn by the gregor johan mendel right but for this question whether the observed value is similar to the expected values mendel has no answer for solving this type of problem so when the mendel's work was rediscovered in the year 1900 okay at that time carl pearson and r a fisher developed chi square test for this purpose so after the experimentation the observed value is it similar to the expected values or it is significantly differ, different from the expected value for this question mendel has no answer when the mendel's work was rediscovered in the year 1900 then at that time carl pearson and r a fisher they developed chi square test to answer this type of question test for this purpose so what is chi square test i have told you earlier that chi square test it is a statistical test which is used to see if the observed values observed values are similar or significantly different from expected values okay so who developed the chi square test it was developed by carl pearson and r a fisher so let's solve this problem and understand how the chi square test is done so what is the formula for the chi square test the formula for chi square test is it is represented by x square equal to summation of o minus e whole square divided by e so here o is observed set of values and e is expected values and this one is the sum of okay 
and x square it represent the chi square test it represent the chi square test okay so this is the formula for chi square test in this question we have we already have our observed values right now we have to calculate the expected value then only we can calculate the chi square test right so let's calculate the expected value so how can we calculate the expected value expected value we can calculate by the help of ponet square right by using the ponet square we can calculate the expected value so we have crossed capital r smaller with capital r smaller so we will get capital r capital r capital r smaller capital r smaller 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 right so here the dominant character or dominant trait is 3 upon 4 right so the dominant trait is 3 upon 4 and the decisive trait is 1 upon 4 total number of flower is 1000 add both the flowers so total number is 1000 from the total number of flowers and from the ponnet square we will calculate the expected values so the expected value for dominant character or the purple flower is is 3 upon 4 multiplied by 1000 right the total number of flower is 1000 so it will be 750 okay it will be 750 expected value for purple flower expected value for purple flower is 750 similarly expected value for white color flower white color it is the recessive 1 upon 4 multiplied by 1000 equal to 250 right this is the expected value for white color flower okay hope you understand that how to calculate the expected value it is a mono hybrid type of cross so the ratio is 3 is to 1 we put that and calculate the expected value so for this experiment we got object value for purple flower is 792 and the expected value is 750 let me write it write down the expected value and object value in a table so it will be easy for you to understand so the object value or o for purple color flower is okay purple flower then this one is the white flower straight object value then put the expected value then it is o minus e then we'll calculate o minus so the object value for purple color flower it is 792 and and for the white flower it is 208 okay 792 and for white flower object value is 208 and for the and the expected value for purple flower is 750 and for white flower it is 250 okay after the crossing the plants we got 792 purple color flower and 208 white color flower the, so the expected value out of 1000 is for the mendel's mono hybrid cross it should be in 3 is to 1 ratio okay that is 750 and 250 but what we got we got 792 and 208 so here the object value it is similar to the expected value or it is significantly different from the expected value we are calculating that by using the chi square test okay so what is the formula for chi square test the formula is summation of o minus e whole square divided by e okay 
so let's calculate 792 minus 750 it will be 42 right it will be 42 and uh, this one is 208 minus 252 so it will be also minus 42 right it is minus 42 then square it so after square you will get 764 right both are same that is 764 now in the next step what you have to do we have to add this two right x square equal to equal to summation of o minus e whole square divided by e right so so let's put the value so it, this is the uh, first one is seven is seventeen hundred sixty four divided by expected value is 750 plus this is also 1764 upon 250 okay so after calculating this what you will get it will be 7.06 plus and this one it will be 2.35 okay so equal to it will be 9.41 okay what is this it's a 9.41 9.41 is chi square value okay chi square value or x square equal to 9.41 now we got the chi square value so then what will be the next step okay now we have calculated the chi square value so in the next step we have to use the chi square table so this one is the chi square table in the chi square table and you have to use the degree of freedom how can we calculate the degree of freedom degree of freedom is it is df okay let me write down it is a df the degree of freedom is the number of categories categories or here the number of trait minus one categories minus one okay by this we can calculate the degree of freedom so here we have taken the two categories right uh, purple flower and white color flower so two categories minus one so here the degree of freedom for this experiment it is one right so here in the chi square table we will look into only in the one okay row one okay chi square value what you got it is 9.41 and degree of freedom is 1 okay now you have to find out the p value so in the row first row here you can observe that 0 0.05 0 0.01 0 0.001 these are representing the p value and here the d 1 2 d 1 2 3 4 5 these are representing the degree of freedom but here we will focus only on the one okay what will focus only on the one or this row only okay so if so if the x square value is less than the critical value okay this table it represents the critical it represents the critical value of the chi square distribution with degree of freedom right if x square value is less than critical value then no significant difference between the observed value and expected value if x square value is greater than critical value then yes there is a significant difference is present then there is a significant difference present so let's see so our value or that is the chi-square test value what we got for this experiment is 9.41 is it smaller than the critical value or it is greater than the critical value for this we have to look at degree of freedom one okay so degree of freedom is one and here the chi-square test value what we get is 9.41 right and 9.41 if we'll we 
will look at 0 0.05 level then 0 0.05 level degree of freedom 1 then the critical value is critical value at 0 0.05 level is 3.841 right what it is it is 3.841 and our chi square test value is 9.41 9.41 is greater than 3.841 so here chi square value is greater than the critical value if it is greater than the critical value so here we conclude that there is presence of significant difference significant difference between observed and expected values okay there is a significant difference between observed and expected values at p less than p at p less than 0 0.05 level so if your chi square value is less than critical value at 0 0.05 level then yes the datas are significantly differ from each other hope this video will definitely help you a lot if you like this video then please do share with your friends and subscribe my channel and stay connected for more such informative videos in upcoming days